Hello, welcome back to another Artifacts video. So I just created a new composition and we've drawn a little shape there. So you notice the anchor point is in the wrong place. So we need to press Y and then that will let us just put the anchor point somewhere a bit more appropriate. Okay, so now we've got what we want to do. We can, we can put our position in here. So there's our position and then at one second, we'll do another position, put the position over here. And then at two seconds, we'll put the position over here. So what you can also do is you can actually change these keyframes wherever you want. So I can put this one here, for instance, and then you can see it's going to go much faster. Now this curve is known as an auto Bezier curve. The reason for that is because if you just look, you see this keyframe in the middle, right? this line going between the two points is that's always going to be parallel to the line going between these two points. If I move it into a completely different place, you can see this line here completely parallel to this line here. And that's what makes it an automatic Bezier. So it doesn't matter where I move the keyframes around, that's always going to be, that is an automatic Bezier. And just a, uh, just a couple of things as well that, just to point out is that if you can't see when you play do video playback if you can't see the motion path you do have to press this button there used to be a button sometimes if you're changing stuff it might not update here and that might be because there used to be a button on the timeline called live update and that button is now here it's not actually on the timeline in there's not a little button for it so we could convert this now into a continuous bezier so what we can do is we select the middle keyframe here and what we're going to do is we're going to just drag that. And you can see this is now a straight line. So it doesn't matter how I drag this. You know, I could even I could even do something like that. You can see now it says continuous Bezier. We can also hold down the G key and then press on the button there and that will turn it into a linear keyframe. Then we can hold down the G key again and it will turn it back to an auto Bezier. can see there it is back to a continuous Bezier. Let's hold down the G key. Now it's just a regular Bezier keyframe. Okay, we're going to hold down the G key, click that, it's going to turn it into an auto Bezier. Drag any one of the handles, turns it into a continuous Bezier, hold down the G key, Drag one of these two points, let go, and now it's a Bezier keyframe. Okay, another thing we can do is we can hold down the G key, and where we get a little plus point on there, we can actually just press that, and you can see it's going to create a new keyframe in that spot. So similarly, we could hold down Z to switch to zoom. We could zoom into an area and then let go of Z, and it will revert back to the selection tool. But anyway, we're going to be talking about like a lot more stuff. So thanks for watching.